Immunology. Immunology is a relatively new science. Its origin is usually attributed to Edward Jenner, who discovered in 1796 that cowpox or vaccinia induced protection against human smallpox and often fatal disease. Jenner called this procedure vaccination, and this term is still used to describe the inoculation of healthy individuals with weakened or attenuated strains of disease-causing agents to provide protection from disease. Although Jenner's bold experiment was successful, it took almost two centuries for smallpox vaccination to become universal, an advance that enabled the World Health Organization to announce in 1979 that smallpox had been eradicated, arguably the greatest triumph of modern medicine. When Jenner introduced vaccination, he knew nothing of the infectious agents that cause disease. It was not until late in the 19th century that Robert Koch proved that infectious diseases are caused by microorganisms, each one responsible for a particular disease or pathology. We now recognize four broad categories of disease-causing microorganisms or pathogens. These are viruses, bacteria, pathogenic fungi, and other relatively large and complex eukaryotic organisms collectively termed parasites. The discoveries of Koch and other great 19th century microbiologists stimulated the extension of Jenner's strategy of vaccination to other diseases. In the 1880s, Louis Pasteur devised a vaccine against cholera in chickens and developed a rabies vaccine that proved a spectacular success upon its first trial in a boy bitten by a rabid dog. These practical triumphs led to search for the mechanism of protection and to the development of the science of immunology. In 1890, Emil von Behring and Shabasa Kitasato discovered that the serum of vaccinated individuals contained substances, which they called antibodies, that specifically bound to the relevant pathogen. A specific immune response, such as the production of antibodies against a particular pathogen, is known as an adaptive immune response. Because it occurs during the lifetime of an individual as an adaptation to infection with that pathogen. In many cases, an adaptive immune response confers lifelong protective immunity to reinfection with the same pathogen. This distinguishes such responses from innate immunity, which at the time from von Behring and Kitasato discovered antibodies was known chiefly through the work of the great Russian immunologist Eli Mechnikov. Mechnikov discovered that many microorganisms could be engulfed and digested by phagocytic cells, which he called macrophages. These cells are immediately available to combat a wide range of pathogens without requiring prior exposure and are a key component of the innate immune system. Antibodies, by contrast, are produced only after infection and are specific for the infecting pathogen. The antibodies present in a given person therefore directly reflect the infections to which he or she has been exposed. And that is the introduction to immunology. Have a great day.